All right, let's learn how to table smooth and maybe some of the reasons why you'd want to do that. So first of all, I have a tune here that was freshly tuned using a tune for you VE Analyze Live, AKA Auto Tune. So if we open it up, um, you can view it in 3D mode. So here's what it normally looks like. And then you click over here in 3D mode. The other way you can view this is if you go to 3D tuning maps, you can go VE table like this. Okay, and then you have these sliders on the bottom and the side and you can twist them around. And what you'll notice is after you let auto-tune do its thing, there's like quite a few rough spots. Um, kind of looks jagged, like, uh, you know, points on a mountain. And you don't really want those. Uh, you can, you know, have a tune that's pretty decent with uh, some of those points in there. But the issue is uh, it just makes for kind of erratic function. Like if it, you know, if you're accelerating up to the, uh, up to a point and you hit, you know, a little jagged spot, the injectors pulse width will, they'll burst, you know, really quickly. And then maybe if it falls back down the other side, um, like on the other side of this, this, uh, mound right here, um, it will, you know, it'll go up and down rapidly or high to low pulse width very rapidly. So what we can do is we can smooth this out. And um, I just want to show you another way that you can fix little little spikes and low valleys just from this 3D view. So if you click um, in here, it'll tell you what your RPM and fuel load are. Uh, you can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can jump around left, right, up, down. Now, where you can change that is if you use, if you hold shift, say you get to a spot like right here and you want to raise it up because there's a big dramatic change right here hold shift and then hit the up arrow or down arrow and you can like manually smooth the table. So you can be like, oh, we're gonna smooth that out right there. And then you can move up and then do the same thing there. Okay, so shift arrow key up and down to change these and then without holding shift, you can just arrow key around this map or you can just click it with your mouse. Okay, but I just wanna show you what's gonna happen to this after we smooth it. Um, so in, since we're in the table view over here, um, all I can see is the 3D image, but if we go over to the fuel settings, VE table, unclick 3D view, and then we're just gonna grab this entire map. And then over on the far right, there's this smoothing cells key and you can just click it. And it, if, unless you watch really carefully, all you see is the numbers change, but once you go out here and you click off again, uh, you'll see what's changed. And you'll notice that in some areas it's added fuel. Like right here, it started at 63 and it went up to 67. Here it started at 66 and went down to 65. So it has it has blended the table very smooth. Like look at this, see how it's not jagged anymore? We can go around here. There was a really big spike kind of up on the top there and a spike uh, kind of in this area but it's blended all of those and it's made it smooth. So as you go through the rev range, the pulse width changes in a very smooth fashion instead of kind of an erratic, uh, spiky um, sort of manner. Um, but yeah, that, that smooths, smooths it out. And you might wanna take note if there's a spot that like the motor really needs extra fuel, like say this spike, the motor really wanted that extra fuel there. What you can do is just take note of where those spikes are. Say it was like right you know, right in here somewhere. And you could just globally add um, a little bit of fuel there or something like that. And then go back, you know, and check it and make sure, oh, okay, we added in some extra fuel in that area that it took out. So you have to be mindful of where it removes fuel from and if that's a really important place. But you can also kind of, you can also hover over the map and it will show you what the beginning and end value is. And most of the time it only, you know, changed it by one or two and you can go back in and hand change that part of the table and add more back in or take out. Like in here, it's added, uh, you know, some fuel, but usually it's only by one or two values, uh, which isn't gonna make a huge deal. Um, the only time that I would be really worried about this is in the full load areas, or if you're in high boost, uh, you, you wanna make sure it doesn't accidentally remove a lot of uh, fuel in those areas. It just smooths it and that's all. So it's as simple as that. 
uh, let me know in the comments if that was helpful for you and uh, happy tuning.